With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A light beam of diameter root 3r is incident symmetrically on a glass hemisphere of radius r. The refractive index is given here it is root 3. Find the radius of the beam at the base of the hemisphere. So if you see here this is the light ray that is coming like this and if you see this is the normal at the, surf at the surface at where it is striking the surface. See? So if you see if I say this angle as angle of incident right. So you can see if this angle is angle of incident then, then this angle will be also I. If I draw a line if I extend this incident line then this angle will be also I. Right. So, if this angle is I, this is also I. Right. So, you can see here this distance is given it is root 3. So, this will be half of that. If this whole distance is root 3 R, then this distance will be simply root 3 R by 2. Right. And uh, the radius is given it is R. R. So, if I write down sin i, sin i, it will be equals to perpendicular that is root 3 r by 2 by hypotenuse that is r. So, it is root 3 by 2, right. So, if you see here the angle of refraction, if I find out the angle at which it, it get refracted after the refraction let's say it get refracted at some angle it um, it will bend towards the normal and it will be coming at this position so let us find out the angle of refraction by using the snell's law i will write down the snell's law that mu 1 if you see the refractive index of the one it is a right so i will write down this mu 1 sin i mu 2 sin r put the value mu 1 is 1 sin i we got it is root 3 by 2 mu 2 is root 3 if you see it is given in the question it is root 3 sin r you got the sin r is half so r will be equals to 30 degree right so as we got this r this angle of refraction right you can get this length this length right so let's calculate this length if you complete this triangle right if you complete this triangle you can see the triangle is having this angle as r let me write down the complete triangle this is a triangle and this angle is r here this one So, if I draw a, another diagram, this, this length and this is angle R and we are calculating this length, right. So, if you see we got this as, let us calculate this distance R naught. So, if you see the diagram again, you can get this distance, this perpendicular one, this one. It will be simply R cos I. Right? And uh, if you see the sin I, we already got it from here. You can write down the I is nothing but 60 degree. So, cos I, it will be half. So, it is R by 2. So, we got this distance, it is R by 2. Right. So, you can get this R naught. So, if you see the diagram again, we got this R by 2. I will write down tan 30 degree is R naught by R by 2. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So, R naught will be R by 2 root 3. Right. And if you see the question again, in the question it is asked that radius of the beam at the base. We want this distance. 
right so this distance is r uh, root 3 by 2 this is r root 3 by 2 minus r not if you do you will get the radius r dash so let us calculate this r not we already calculated here I will write down the R dash is equals to R root 3 by 2 minus R naught. R naught is this. So, I will write down root 3 by 2 R minus this. So, if you solve this, it will be 2 root 3 if you if you multiply here root 3 it will be 3 this so it will be 2r by 2 root 3 so we got the radius is the it is r by root 3 and this is the answer of this question simple now you can check for the option r by root 3 so a is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.